up, everybody? Professor Russell Chris Wall back with another video on Eagles News Now. And, you know, recently I've talked about draft steals, how every team likes to think they got a steal in the draft. Earlier in the week, I talked about Kevon Wallace being uh, that defensive steal and possible Malcolm Jenkins replacement for the Eagles, where there are a couple guys on offense I also feel like are steals, and we're going to get into that right now. Now, look, the Eagles drafted a couple wide receivers late that I think in any other wide receiver draft would probably have been drafted earlier because we know this draft, as far as wide receivers go, was unbelievably deep, deeper than it has been in years. So a guy like John Hightower being drafted in the fifth round possibly could have been drafted in the third round. And this guy that I want to talk about today, Kez Watkins, who was drafted in the sixth round by the Eagles, I think probably would have went a little bit higher as well. Now, look, speaking of steals, there are teams get steals all the time in the draft. We look at uh, Antonio Brown was drafted in the sixth round. Julian Edelman was drafted in the seventh round. So it is not odd that a wide receiver makes a huge impact on a team. Now, I'm not saying Kez Watkins is going to be either of those guys, but I want to watch his highlights with you guys right now. And let's see just exactly what this guy is all about. And if he is a steal for the Philadelphia Eagles. All right, guys, get ready to get these highlights started. Kez Watkins is six foot tall, 185 pounds. Uh, he ran a 4.35 at the combine, and actually graded in the top half of every single event at the combine. And you know, only the best wide receivers in the nation go there. As you can see here, he is doing absolute work. That first highlight ran away from every defender. Here you see him in the red zone um, with a really tough catch in the corner. Um, no fear there. Went ahead and grabbed it. What uh, One of his strengths that I saw was his ability to leap in the air and make that that jump ball more in his favor. Um, man, look at him. He just doesn't stop. Boom. Runs right past these guys. Right past them. Obviously, speed has been the focus for the Eagles this offseason. And this guy definitely brings that like right through the middle. Oh, wow. Some, a good block there, but yeah, lightning quick. Lightning quick. Look at this. Good route. Excellent hands, it looks like. And, you know, I'm looking at my weaknesses for him. They said that um, his hips are real tight. He's a body catcher. Um, and that he struggles against uh, top competition um, and press coverage, which some of these younger wide receivers do. Um, another red zone ball. Another jump ball. Wow, the Eagles, if if this guy makes this main roster, um, th this is where the Eagles are going to use this guy. Those jump balls in the red zone. And now here again, he goes across the middle, and these guys just cannot keep up with him. I mean, these are top athletes here. I talked about Adrian Killings uh, running back. Same thing uh, goes with Kez Watkins. He's, he's just faster than these guys. Way faster. Another really tough contested catch brought in, as you saw there. Um, so far, really impressed uh, with what he's bringing to the table here. Boom. Ran right past two defenders. Caught the ball. Tracked it well. Um, again, you're looking at this guy, and, and possibly in any other draft, he would have been drafted higher. I mean, he could be a, a really big steal for the Eagles in the sixth round. Um, another red zone. And, and for his size, I'm surprised that he's, he's such a weapon in the red zone like this. But wow, another great uh, ball that he caught there. Awesome stuff, guys. So those were the highlights, guys. Uh, you know, Kez Watkins, to me, um, and again, highlights are highlights, so they're not going to show any of his bad plays. But really impressed with what I saw there. Um, as advertised, lightning quick. Um, you know, real quick, I'll go through um, some of what I have written down as for his strengths. As you saw through the highlights, um, the guy's best when playing vertical. Uh, it, it seems like he gets easy separation because of his speed. I love his uh, leaping techniques as far as getting those jump balls and those contested catches. You saw his burst after the catch was really nice. Um, and one of the things I've seen over and over again while researching this guy is that year after year, he keeps getting better. Um, so, you know, obviously he's very coachable. Um, and Aaron Moorhead is going to like working with this guy. Jet sweeps, it's something the Eagles love to use, and I can see him being a big part of that. Just looks explosive, and you can tell that just by the highlights that we just watched. Last year at 18.4 yards per, per carry, um, you know, that's that's a big deal. 
there. Uh, again, his weaknesses, just struggled against top competition, was kind of bullied around um, by Alabama last year. Needs to get a, a little bit stronger, a little bit physical. Um, and he's bothered by press coverage, which, again, I said a lot of these young wide receivers, especially the fast ones, are. That comes that's coaching to me and can be fixed. And uh, while looking around comparison-wise, like a Dante Pettis from the 49ers, um, uh, before you like uh, panic, Dante Pettis' rookie year was re- had a, uh, a really good year, and attitude seemed to bring him down, which I haven't seen any red flags for Kez Watkins on there. So that's it, guys. A real quick video on Kez Watkins, who could be a huge steal for the Eagles wide receiving core as they just continue to get quicker. Um, I would have taken him over any of the wide receivers besides Greg Ward that we had playing for us last year. And, of course, I'm not talking about Jackson or Alshon because they were hurt. But uh, this guy, and again, he's a kick returner and punt returner too. So um, versatile. If he can play special teams, he's definitely making this team. I like him. What do you guys think? Like, share, and subscribe. Leave your comments. Thanks for everybody watching, um, especially everybody that watched uh, my daughter's schedule release video yesterday. Um, Definitely put a smile on her face and mine as well. Thanks, guys. And as of right now, I think I'm two subscribers away from 600. Just want to thank everybody who subscribed so far. And uh, let's just keep trucking to 1,000, guys. Um, I'll be back later in the week with any news. And uh, I think I want to do a video on John Hightower as well. Eagles um, fifth round selection. So that's all, guys. Go, Birds. I'll see you later. Eagle Nation to stand.